Mayor de Blasio says 120 emergency personnel from New York City are being sent to Texas to help in the aftermath. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live outside the American Red Cross office in Hell's Kitchen with the details. Ali. Well, Jessica, dozens of firefighters and police officers specially trained for disasters like this packed their bags for Texas this morning. Now, many should be arriving there within the hour and are planning to stay for about two to three weeks. But there's no telling what challenges lie ahead. Flooding in Texas so high the water is being measured in feet rather than inches. The damage and danger is so severe that state and federal aid alone aren't enough. We've been receiving so many offers of help from all of our neighboring states in Mexico, Oklahoma, and Louisiana, even as far away as, as uh, Governor Cuomo in New York uh, is, is providing resources for us. At the crack of dawn Sunday in Brooklyn, the Urban Search and Rescue New York Task Force prepares to go down to Texas. This team is made up of FDNY and NYPD members specially trained to respond to catastrophic events. I deploy up to 14 days. Uh, I can do structural searches, wide area searches, and also uh, swift water rescues. They'll be joined by the Red Cross Disaster Assistance Response Team, made up of active and retired FDNY firefighters who respond in times of disaster. When something like this happens, it's all hands on deck at the American Red Cross, and we have volunteers from across our region, Long Island, New York City, and the lower Hudson Valley, who have stepped up. These volunteers will assist with bulk distribution and damage assessment, and could be deployed Employed in Texas for up to three weeks. Firefighters are used to working in adverse uh, conditions. We're used to uh, storms, working underwater, working in, in, under stressful conditions. That's a natural environment for us. So, what we bring to the table is that experience and that ability to handle that kind of stress and uh, handle uh, any kind of adverse emergency that needs to be uh, mitigated. The New York Task Force is bringing tools that include boats, hazmat suits, and rescue equipment for collapsed structures. Now, 10 volunteers from the New Jersey Red Cross should also be arriving today, and the Red Cross is encouraging anyone who may want to volunteer to register online through their website. We're live outside of the American Red Cross in Hell's Kitchen. Allie Bauman, CBS News.